Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Bhattaji. Hare Krishna, everybody. And thank you so much for staying up till the last day. And this journey is not an easy journey. As I say, you know, staying for 18 days is a lot of commitment. So it's called uh, Drida Virja, right? Somebody who's like very, very firm in Krishna conscience and also somebody who really Krishna is favoring. So it is not just our endeavor. Our endeavor is a must, but it is also parallelly linked to Krishna's mercy, right? Because we cannot do everything uh, from our side. So I would like to thank each one of you all. And I would like to uh, thank, uh, to start off with Krishna himself for giving us this great privilege and uh, Sheila Prabhupada, who had set up the entire foundation for us to take it forward. Uh, Namanishta Prabhu, who is the president of Iskand Mangluru, to have organized this. And to each one of you all, um, needless to say, because you have made this possible. Because even if I am speaking, there should be someone on the other side. So thanks for hearing. And also to make this entire journey smooth, my admin, Mohandas Prabhu, thank you so much. I really don't know how you managed to log in in all my sessions earlier and you leave after I leave. So I think I always say admin is a thankless job and I'm a great example because I don't know if I've thanked you ever or I've thanked you enough and I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you. Uh, thank you so much Prabhu and I know you've been unwell and in spite of that you've been working on this. Anytime you feel uh, you can't manage, I'll take over. Thank you so much and I my only request to all of you all will be don't leave this journey of 18 days. Please continue this. I've got a few of you all messaging if I'll be taking level 2. I also take level 2. I also take level 3. But I really do not know who will be your teacher. But the best thing will be is to always taste the flavor of multiple uh, people, right? When somebody is teaching and if I'm the same person who's going to teach, I will bring the same thing to the flow. But if you have multiple teachers teaching, you will have a lot of information which they know will come to you. So I personally feel that you should wish you get another teacher because you will be able to uh, get another feel get another experience and the world is small. We'll always connect again. And uh, thank you so much for this. And now let's enter our journey of the 18th uh, chapter. And today will be the last day of our meeting in this 18 days journey. Uh, I hope all of you have registered and the chat is open. So if you have any challenge in terms of registration, please don't uh, hesitate. Uh, yes, Gungan, yes, you, uh, Gun Gun. Until the end, I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Hare Krishna Mataji, unfortunately, I couldn't join yesterday. Recordings are there. So you can, um, you can watch and of course we'll have someone else to do. Yeah. So I'll start off with Mangala Charan. Hare Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Agnana Timura Andasya. Jnana Anjala Chalakaya. Chakshurun Militam Yena. Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha. Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam. Stapitam Yena Bhutale. Swayam Rupa Kadamaya. Dadati Swapadati Kam, He Krishna Karuna Sindhu, Dina Bando Jagatpate, Kopeshu Gopika Kanta, Radha Kanta Namastute, Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi, Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari, Vishavanu Sute Devi, Pranamami Haripri, Vancha Kalpata Rubyascha, Vipa Sindhubya Evacha, Patitanan Pavani Ebyo, Vaishtave Ebyo Namo Namaha, Jai Shri Krishna Chai Tanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadara, Shiva Chadi Gaura Bhakta Brinda. Come on, all of you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, thank you so much. 18th chapter, name of the chapter? Moksha Sanyasa Yoga. Perfect. The perfection of renunciation. Moksha Sanyasa Yoga. So uh, it's a long chapter. In fact, this is the longest chapter and it has 78 verses. So literally like a two days chapter. So we will... Hare Krishna. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you, Mataji. Okay. So we will jump straight to the 18th chapter. 
freedom from bondage through karma right so it talks about 1 and 2 12 is how do we get freed and what should we follow the five factors of action this is very very important we will see in length when we start the three modes we know we've already read in the 14th chapter how they play and now we know that they control everything Studied in the fourth chapter about Varnashrama Dharma. So, how do we get purified, right? Krishna says uh, to Arjuna when Arjuna says, "Krishna, you are saying that you will reciprocate to the extent whoever surrenders. Then why do people go to demigod?" Krishna says, "Is it, that is because they want quick results?" Okay, Krishna, but then what will happen to them if they go to demigods? Krishna is saying, "Don't worry, ask them to follow Dharma Varnashrama Dharma, and that's hanging there, right?" So now he is going to tell how you get purified, right? So, 18 chapter is like the summary of all the 18, 17 chapters, and also any loose ends which are left here and there will get answered. So, by end of this chapter, you will have no question unanswered. Please carry a paper and a pencil, and I'm not going to give you a test, but this is test yourself. So, you need a paper and a pen to make a note. Brahman platform, confidential knowledge, mat bhaktim labate param, right? So, what is this confidential knowledge? What is Brahman platform? Pure bhakti is acting in Krishna consciousness, right? How do we act and how do we take it forward? Final conclusion is finally Sanjaya is appreciating Krishna because he had this luck or mercy of Vyasa to have this entire, uh, you know, Bhagavad Gita on the spot, right? He could see it, he could feel it, he could experience it, right? So that is the uh, blessings which he got. Therefore, he is concluding by saying that wherever Krishna and Arjuna is there, it's a great combo. So, what does Krishna represent? We know Krishna is none but the supreme personality of God, and Arjuna represents a pure devotee, right? A pure unalloyed devotee. So that's what they are talking about. So let's start our journey. Eight point one, Hare Krishna. Arjuna vacha sanya sasya mahabahu tatva mitchami vedi tum kagasya chari shi kesha kesi ni sudana Hare Krishna. Arjuna said, "O oh, mighty armed one, I wish to understand the purpose of renunciation and of the renounced Krishna. order of life. O oh, killer of Kesi demon, Mataji, can you hear me? Yes, Mataji, we can hear you well. Uh, I can't hear you. Go. I Gunan can't read, but somebody else can read. Can you please unmute?" Mataji, I think you are uh, muted, Gungun Mataji. Gungun Mataji, you can unmute. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah. Oh, uh, I we can't see the screen. Mataji yes. has left. Correct, correct, correct. Kare. I think Mata Ji will uh, share the screen now. Correct. I think she is having connection issues. Yes, yes, some network issues. Hey, Krishna. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can hear you now. Yeah. You can just make me the post. I can show. Of course. Uh, could you hear when I was speaking? Yes, we could hear you, Mata Ji, but you could not hear us. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's why it is not. Yeah. Mother, she can't see the text. I have not shared it because he's. I'm not the co-host yet, so I'm making for. Okay, okay. Probably to make me the. Co-host. Okay, now Mother, she. I'm not the co-host. You oh, made. sorry. <laughs> you made me co-host again. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Perfect. And then you said you have a bad throat. You just check if you're okay. You can read. Yeah, I can read, Mata Ji. Um, Arjuna said, "O oh, mighty armed one, I wish to understand the purpose of renunciation, tyaga, and of the renounced order of life, sanyasa. O oh, killer of Kesi demon, Hir Krishna, Rishi Kesha." So he's saying that I want to know uh, two uh, technical terms which are coming here. So one is what is the purpose of tyaga, which is renunciation, and what do you mean by sanyasa, right? Renounced order. What is the actual purpose? And what is the and what do you mean by that, right? 
So now, Arjuna Krishna is going to tell Sri Bhagavan Vacha, Kamya Nam Karma Nam Yasam, Sanyasam Kavayo Viduhu, Sarva Karma Palatyagam, Rahus Tyagam Vichakshana. Hare Krishna. The Supreme Lord said, to give up the results of all activities is called renunciation, Tyaga by the wise and that state is called the renounced order of life sannyasa by great learned men he says the to give up the results of all the activity you know, uh, that's called the renunciation that's tyaga and the state of uh, is called the renounced order of life sannyasa by the uh, great learned men so he's saying you know that as the sannyasa so 18.3 hey krishna if you all don't understand, immediately start typing in chat like yesterday or if you have a doubt, so that as I'm taking you through the class, I will clarify. Right? Some learned men declare that all kinds of fruitative activities should be given up, but there are yet other sages who maintain that act of sacrifice, charity and penance should never be abandoned. Some are saying Mataji, your voice is unclear again. You can is breaking mother you can't hear you read Acts of sacrifice, charity, and penance are not to be given up, but should be performed. <coughs> Indeed, sacrifice, charity, and penance purify even the great souls. Yes, sir. Can you hear? A voice is uh, breaking, Vataji. The connectivity is little. Uh, now I think I put my phone beside it. Comes. Now, you should, now you should be able to hear. Now it's clear? Yes, Just Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, yes. Krishna. Yes. No, it's good. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Rama. Hare. Yes. Etanya Pitu Karmani, Sangam Tyakwa Palanicha, Karta Vyaniti Maya Partha, Nishitam Mata Uttamam. Hare Krishna. All these activities should be performed without any expectation of results. They should be performed as a matter of duty. O son of Partha, that is my final opinion. So he's saying that everything should be done without expectation. We saw even Japa. We should not have expectation. Here also they're saying that it should be done as a duty and that's my final opinion. Uh, Stoka 18.78 and 9, right, is very clear. So there are two things. One is prescribed duties you don't do. Both are wrong. Only when you do as a duty, right, without any expectation, that's called goodness. But in two cases, they want to prescribe duty. One is in case of ignorance and passion. But the difference is, in terms of ignorance, they'll be scared. They'll be wondering, why should I do? Like, for example, uh, let's say, Japa, right? The people in an ignorance mood will think, why should I go out of it? Why should I stay for eight days of Bhagavad Gita? It's not worth it, right? So that is ignorance. But passion are people, they want to stay, but they are scared. Okay, mom is shouting. She's telling me my marks has come down because of this. So I'm scared. Or, um, uh, you know, it's very difficult. Every day trying to log in at 3 p.m. and sitting for one hour, you know, is very difficult for me. Exams are coming. I won't be able to cope up. So these kind of challenges which you can't beat will be passion. So both you don't do, but your mood is very different. You can see the difference, right? But whereas you do, that's called mood of goodness. 18.13 and 14. Oh, mighty armed oh, Arjuna. Arjuna. Learn from me of the five factors which bring about the accomplishment of all action. These are declared in Sankhya philosophy to be the place of action, the performer. 
the senses, the endeavor, and the ultimately the super soul. So they are very clearly saying, right? Learn from me the five factors, right? Uh, which is declared in Sankhya philosophy to be the place of action, performer, senses, endeavor, and the super soul. You know, he is telling you know, please learn from me. So there are five things. So one is ultimately super. We should also be hearing, but if you see this picture, you know, right? What happens first is place. Like for example, let's say exam hall, you're writing in the hall, performer, you are the performer. Senses, you're seeing the paper and you're writing. Senses are involved. Endeavor, you have to put efforts. Right? So everything you need, Krishna's mercy, right? Only then you will be able to be successful. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Therefore, one who thinks himself the only door, not considering the five factors, is certainly not very intelligent and cannot see the things as they are. So, you know, a typical example of many people think they only do everything, they only control everything, they know everything. Such people are not very interesting. They cannot see anything. 18.18. Hare Krishna. Knowledge, the object of knowledge and the newer are the three factors which motivate action. The senses, the work, and the door comprise the threefold basis of action. So everything like the knowledge, the, for example, he knows he's going to hit the ball. So he has the knowledge, right, from his mind. Next is the object of knowledge is that ball, right? And the knower, who's the knower? Himself, right? Paramatma and himself, mainly in this case, it's himself. These are three factors. What happens which motivates action? The senses and the work. Right? So it's a three basis of action. Now, I want all of you to take the paper and pencil. And I need three people to read. Because there will be three columns. I want three different people to read. Uh, of course, women will read. One more, who's going to read? Now, you will rank, uh, you know, one is the lowest. Not like your school ranking, remember? Three is the highest and start giving scores. You will basically have ranks in, against 18 marks, right? It will be three into six. Six rows, three columns, right? So we'll start. Are you ready? So who's going to read the first column? Uh, is Guggen, you can read the first uh, column. But is there anybody else who would like to read? Today is the last day. You won't get a chance again. So you can nominate yourself for the middle column and the last column. Mataji, should I read the first column? Yeah, you can read the first column. I'm just waiting if who's going to read the second and the third so that it becomes easier. Yes, Gayatri, you can do the second and anybody doing the issue. Thank you so much. Yes, Gugan, go ahead. 18.22. Oh, 18.20 first. Okay, okay. 18.20. That knowledge by which one undivided spiritual nature is seen in all existences, undivided in the divided, is knowledge in the mode of goodness. Hare Krishna. So it's something where you see everyone equal. Fifth chapter we saw, right? Vidya, Vidya Sampanmi. Means what? Everybody you treat as equal. If you feel that, you rank yourself three. Since most of us are not going to be there, let's see where we are getting ranked. Yes, Gayatri, go ahead and read uh, 18.21. That knowledge by which a different type of living entity is seen to be dwelling in different bodies is knowledge in the mode of passion. You know, you know very clearly there's a different entity. You know it's a dog. It's a different entity. In 20 also they know, but they will not see any difference. You know, for them, they only focus on the Paramatma inside. Here they know the difference, right? So that's very important. So 18.22, Hare Krishna, yes, Shruti. Hare Krishna. And the knowledge by which one is attached to one kind of work has the all in all without knowledge of the truth and which is very meager is said to be in the mode of darkness. So he says the knowledge by which one is attached to one kind of work, right? And without even knowing the truth, they are in darkness. So they keep doing, you know, the same thing and they have no knowledge of anything at all. They don't know the truth and they are very, you know, narrow-minded. So that's the thing. So the first one is about knowledge, right? We are going to see about action. So have you finished ranking yourself either 3, 2, 1? Please don't put decimal. Give me a round figure of 3, 2, 1. Whichever category you fall, you have to be one. Either 1 or 2 or 3. One is the least and three is the highest. Have you finished ranking? We'll move to the next. Yeah. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Three kinds of action. 18.23. As for actions, that action in accordance with duty, which is performed without attachment, without love or hate, 
by one who has renounced fruitive results is called action in the mode of goodness so he says anyone who does action as a duty right example arjuna is fighting as a duty a lawyer uh, or rather a doctor does it as a duty he does not have attachment or love or hatred he will just do it same way a judge one time he will as she give capital punishment next day he will give award but it's just a matter of duty it doesn't have any liking or disliking right that's in the mode of goodness 18.24 if you are in this category three else let's see 24 hari krishna is guy three but action performed with great effort by one seeking to gratify his jeev self decides and which is enacted from essence of false ego is called action in the mode of passion so what is he telling here in a particular mode of passion how will you act the way in which you will act in the mode of passion is to satisfy your own self right you are not bothered about anyone but you will only be focused on yourself your satisfaction self is in the mode of passion 18.25 hari krishna and the action performed in ignorance and delusion without consideration of future bondage or consequences which reflects injury and is impractical is said to be action in the mode of ignorance hiranya kashipu ravana they did things which could inflict pain right cutting themselves even people now walking in fire or even don't even talk spiritually well let's talk something like you know people typically the lovers trend right used to be like you know if you don't accept i will kill myself or you go kill the other person or you write something in blood telling that you know i am so fond of you i am giving you a blood commitment right so these kind of things are uh, inflicting your injury either to yourself or somebody else right? that is in the mode of ignorance workers right we have now saw now you saw the score for action i hope you have marked yourself uh, with the in action right 3 2 or 1 we can move to the next which is workers 18.26 yes, the worker who is free from all material attachments and false ego who is enthusiastic and resolute and who is indifferent to success or failure is a worker in the mode of goodness very clearly he says the worker who is free from all material attachments right everything false ego enthusiasm resolute everything is there and he is in the mode of goodness but if the worker is attached to the fruits of labor right passionately wants to enjoy them sorry you have to read then i will tell you. sorry go ahead 18.27 but that worker who is attached to the fruits of his labor and who passionately wants to enjoy them who is greedy envious and impure and moved by happiness and distress is a worker in the mode of passion self and self doesn't mean me self also means my family my children my relative all that is self it's all extended self right so he is attached to the fruits and he is too passionate he wants to enjoy them or his family has to enjoy he is so greedy envious and very impure they are in the mode of passion and let's see a uh, mode of uh, ignorance yeah and that worker who is always engaged in work against the injection of scripture who is materialistic cheating and expert in insulting others who is lazy always morass and procrastinating it is a work in the mode of ignorance so uh, somebody who is in the who is uh, is against the scripture right is doing everything against the scripture is materialistic and uh, is very good in insulting he is very lazy he is not he will just constantly be very very sarcastic right so i'm sure if you can relate now by now you will be having somebody in your mind right your relative or your friend who will fit all three yes or no as i'm reading 18.28 or 18.27 or 26 26 very difficult because we may not have too many people in the mode of goodness but then 27 and 28 very quickly are ah, this character is flashing before the eye this character is flashing before the eye is it happening only to me or some of you all also feel this yes mother yes mother ji right so sometime you can start relating so now uh, of this scores whatever is close to you you can start writing you know either 3 2 or 1 as i said don't give decimals again let's move on hari krishna so you must be having three rows three columns so far correct basically you will be having three you will be having scores right yes so three kinds of we finished we'll now go to three kinds of intelligence based on the moods 18.30 hari krishna 
O son of Partha, that understanding by which one knows what ought to be done and what ought not to be done, what is to be feared and what is not to be feared, what is binding and what is liberating, that understanding is established in the mode of goodness. He says that understanding by which one knows what is to be done, what should not. Example, if someone is, uh, uh, you know, today the trend is, you know, if I want to uh, even do a good thing, like marry a girl, which is not wrong, uh, or marry a guy, you know, what happens is, hey, I don't care, yaar, I'm not scared, I will walk into the house, which is fine, but then it is also disrespectful, right? You have to have some kind of fear. And especially, let's say somebody wants to have a fag or smoke, definitely it's wrong, it's in the mode of ignorance. But you know, I'm not bothered here, right? Before my dad, I will take a glass of wine. You know, these are things which we think is currently yielding and very high and uh, high class, but uh, these are very, very uh, binding, right? So these, you should have fear. Right? Oh my God, I have not uh, done my japa. You know, uh, is, is, is it nice? No, you know, that thing should be there in your heart. Many times they say you should not fear God. Yes, you should not fear God. But you should fear actions when you're do th doing things wrong. Right? So 18.31. Hare Krishna. And that understanding which cannot distinguish between the religious way of life and the unreligious, between action that should be done and the action that should not be done, that imperfect understanding. O son of Partha is in the mode of passion. It's a typical example, right? So he does not know which is religious way of doing, which is irreligious. So today uh, I had a call, right, with my dad, Bondas Prabhu. And we were seeing a lot of people who just have been doing things differently. And I asked him one question, telling that how they don't feel guilty when they do something like this. And very beautifully he replied, he said, Mataji, you should understand they are in the mode of ignorance, right? So therefore, many times we come across people, they do something really weird. But they don't feel guilty because they don't even know what they are doing is wrong. Right? That's the extreme part. At least mode of passion, they will know it's wrong somewhere. So they have scope of correction. But in the mode of ignorance, they just don't even know what they are doing is wrong. Right? So that's the challenge. 18.32. Hare Krishna. That understanding which considers irreligion to be religion and religion to be irreligion under the spells of illusion and darkness and tries always in the wrong direction in the mode of ignorance. So now this clearly explains and I understand what the message is about. So, um, uh, you know, uh, Mohandas Prabhu, can you relate? Like whatever you explain now, I think it's tallying with 18.3. So somebody who exactly. thinks... Yeah, it's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. So I could relate so much. So these are Bhagavad Gita talks to you, right? So Bhagavad Gita is just not notes. As you move forward, it starts talking to you. Krishna starts talking to you. Somewhere he communicates. So whatever is really they consider a religion. What is religion? They consider it a religion. They have no idea. They are in complete illusion and darkness, right? And they therefore uh, go in the wrong direction. It can be any field. It can be material field. It could be a, a financial field. It could be engineering field. It could even be spiritual field. But if your direction is not wrong, then you are headed towards the wrong side. Three kinds of determination based on the modes of material nature. O oh, son of Partha, that determination which is unbreakable, which is sustained, which is steady fast by yoga practice and thus controls the mind, life and acts of senses is in the mode of goodness. All of you can give yourself three, this three. Classic example is you're in the class, right? Determination. It's not easy to stay in the class for so many days, especially for y'all at youth because you have so much of responsibility. You'll have studies, you'll have peer pressure, you'll have uh, parents' pressure. Right? So I feel youth is the most challenged uh, thing. Many times parents keep complaining. Oh my God, you know, my child is so uncomfortable. She's so arrogant. She's turned out like this. But I think the biggest mistake which the parents also have is they don't understand that child is no more a child. It's your child, obviously, till, your, if, till he or she is going to be 100 years. But the fact is the child in the definition of child is no more a child. Right? The child is now an adolescent. In fact, a young adult. So therefore, the young adult will have a different view and it's a different person, right? So that is where you call it generation gap. You call it whatever is happening. 18.34, Hare Krishna. But here I will want to add one thing, Mataji. Here yes, I Prabhu, like please. Especially mention, you know, the names of Gayatri Mataji, Gungun Mataji, Lashmi Mataji and all. They participate so well and also they chant because normally you can't expect that, right? So they yeah. chant and then, so that is really, as you said, you know, they should rate themselves in uh, a board of goodness. Thought I should mention this, Mataji. So, 
थैंक यू प्रभु हरे कृष्ण मोड यू आर इन thank you so much hare krishna prabhu hare krishna and that determination which cannot go beyond oh, sorry i should keep quiet uh, prabhu uh, not only that's why i told even before reading of course but please pay attention because we need to go through this uh, you know but this is what the story is right so this is exactly the classic uh, categorization of a b and c are so when you're talking about a b and c i told you pay attention for theoretical reason but all of you here will be like how mohandas prabhu said everybody is in the mode of goodness here because it is not easy to stay for long and as he very brightly pointed also about chanting right we'll really take turns and also one sweet thing which i saw is yesterday also i chanted mataji let her chant so that is something which is very sophisticated at a very young age right and uh, mohandas prabhu will tell even now i have seen people even in the spiritual field who compete no i only have to be there i only have to be first i only need importance but at a very young age you all are already in that very matured i would say not matured i would say very transcendental uh, thing so i'm very proud of you all and that's why i'm insisting and requesting you all please don't leave it here and continue the journey right because it's just weekly to hearts and keep learning because what you learn here is very ball park but if you come out of it so quickly then you will not really understand the depth of bhagavad gita so if you see i think we are almost done three levels and i am in my fourth level only now you know uh, prabhu and me are able to talk the language which krishna is talking right so we are able to relate i don't think in level 1 and even in level 2 we could relate so much right now he is telling oh this will be there this will be there so you will start enjoying you will start speaking the language of krishna right so yeah sorry 18.3 go ahead and the determination by which one holds fast to future result in religion economic development and sense gratification is of the nature of passion o oh, arjuna hare krishna and the determination which cannot go beyond dreaming fearful lamentation moroseness illusion such unintelligent determination is in the mode of darkness right so it is in the mode of darkness uh, so that means it shows of passion mataji is in passion right now we haven't reached darkness no uh, see there will be a passion see that's always one thing we cannot see one thing and that's why i keep highlighting you know no decimal decimal but actually speaking we will be very tempted to put somewhere in between scores right because i was very tempted we can never identify ourselves as pure goodness pure passion but what you do is what is more of that right something we are still focusing on all this no doubt sense gratification passion but the determination right on on this particular thing is quite strong because when you are able to do japa at this age and do this then definitely you know you you are definitely above passion it is not just a passion do necessarily we are focusing about fruit of action economic development all this but there is goodness involved in this so there is a link to goodness directly in the in this conversation yeah mataji because uh, if you remember mataji was also explaining in, a, in yesterday's class also that is see we, one cannot be always in one state you know they, when you say that that's why she was mentioning if you remember that uh, yes. none of these modes Correct. dominate the other modes isn't it unless and otherwise you are really ignorant or you are completely in the passion mode but most of the time if you would see when a balanced person is you will be in this different state at different point of time so what madhaji is highlighting now is this see now the very fact that you have all come to attend this 18 day course and if you see we started with so many uh, number of people, uh, devotees but eventually this core 8 to 10 devotees have been there throughout that means it's different unless you are in the mode of goodness this can really not happen so and the fact that you yourself are telling okay i need to further improve that itself shows that you know you are in the mode of goodness so i thought i would add this mataji hari <laughs> krishna no 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 perfect of course bro i've been hearing that's very true in fact before we proceed if you all have any realization so it's not just we are talking you all also can talk last day so if you all want to share something or should we finish the slide the next two slides and then you all want to talk at the time of the score at the time of the score <laughs> okay so i'll wait for the score agree because it's like tension no so now it's yeah so this is the score so have you added the last slide we didn't uh, read yeah that so way five rows so in ahead. the beginning may be just like person but at the end is just like nectar and which awakens one to self realization is said to be happiness in the mode of goodness 
oh wow so that is uh, in the beginning right it's like poison and at the end it is like nectar right so what is happening is for somebody you know at the beginning it is very much like a poison and at the end it will be like nectar example our japa i used to have this experience that uh, you know at the beginning it used to be so difficult to do also sometimes when people are in the mode of goodness when they speak the truth right when they speak the truth at the beginning when someone hears it will be like really difficult to digest it could be applicable for all of us right so when we also tell you have to get up at 3:45 and do japa tell oh my god how unreasonable yes sometimes see, you may not accept but deep inside it's like this same way if someone comes and asks you for something very genuinely true we won't tell it offendingly but we have to tell what is in shastras right so for example i'm just i'm just giving it as an example right so uh, no offense to any one so if uh, if if somebody gender irrespective whether it's a boy or a girl right in the modern era comes and tells you know i believe in multiple relationship uh, you know is it wrong right so if someone comes and asks right so or i'm already married but you know i'm very infatuated towards this person or that person is it wrong so obviously the truth is yes it is wrong so the shastras tell it is wrong so we normally when we suggest or advise someone we say definitely it's wrong and immediately say it's very hurting because one thing they should understand is what we speak is from shastras not psychology right so for that if you want psychiatrist to talk your language then the psychiatrist will talk they will tell oh is it so then it's okay you should do what you want and slowly they will bring you to the right place but then in shastras the uh, we saw right we saw two things one we also saw that you know truth right truth should be spoken amanitvam and all that is so honest you have to be so clean both internally and externally you have to be very very honest and clean and uh, that's how it has to be right so this is the uh, coolest part of it so that is the point taken right? so that's a cool part of it so uh, so so what is a fact is anyone who tells initially something on our face right what you're doing is not right even your best friend we get so angry right but actually they are trying whereas if you see another friend who's just not bothered about us you say ah it's okay ah you do whatever we love that friend right because they want to talk what they like or what we like but actual true friend will tell no yaar what you did is wrong yaar so you should not do that is something which is like poison at the beginning but it will be like nectar at the end so that is something which i thought i'll share i, I brought friends so that you can understand truth normally for adult class we only tell japa but uh, you know i thought this is something which will be clear up 18.38 hari krishna <laughs> that happiness which is derived from contact of the senses with their object and which appears like nectar at the first but poison at the end is said to be out of the nature of passion so the happiness which derived from the contact of senses right so the point what i am telling is the, the happiness the, in the sense uh, with with the contact unfortunately you know anything which comes with the sense objects right your eyes speaks ear speak mouth speaks all this right it is like nectar uh, and later it ends as a poison this is supposed to be in the mode of passion right why because initially if you see opposite gender very attractive very nice love also is great especially college time but then anyone who's fallen in love in college time trust me by the time they finish college they will feel like real poison because they would have not enjoyed college anymore. the college life and i have seen many of my college mates they used to tell hey we never enjoyed the college life we really miss now forget the fact whether they marry or they don't marry i'm not even getting into that but the fact is you know they really miss out so much of life they feel like we really missed whatever fun you people had we just lost it right because you are always occupied they are more working on impressing the other person so initially it's very nice oh this is my partner this is my partner this is my uh, uh, fiance all that but later it becomes like poison oh i really missed out right so uh, 18.39 hari krishna and that happiness which is blind to self realization which is delusion from beginning to the end and which arises from sleep laziness and illusion is said to be of nature of ignorance so and the happiness which is blind to self realization uh, so uh, which means that something happiness right which is blind to self realization uh, somebody who is very happy is very very self realized and at the beginning to end right he is very sleepy like for example drug beginning also it is painful end also it's painful but he thinks he will be very happy right that is illusion anyway imagine physically also anybody has common sense it's going to ruin him at the end also you have common sense it's going to ruin him but that's the now time for results now you all add i'm going to give one minute all of you are smart 
adder, so don't take too long. Come quickly, add. Done, Mataji. Yeah, so nearly 18, whoever it is, is great. But if it's nearly six, it's not great, but it doesn't mean it's bad. I already told you the story of our uh, uh, Brigari, that you will be able to take it forward. So you should take it forward. And uh, 12 means it's time for you to pick up the sleep and take it forward. So that knowledge, so this is what it is, right? 18, six and 12. So that knowledge by which one undivided spiritual nature is seen in all living entities, so they are divided into innumerable forms. You should understand to be in the mode of goodness, right? So this is very difficult. I'm highlighting this because this is the quality of a Mahabhagavat or Uttama Adhigari or someone we aspire to be. We don't see a difference. Good, bad, friend, enemy. Also, you see it very difficult. Maybe we'll forgive or even forget an enemy, but we can't treat a friend and an enemy equally, right? But that is the quality of a Mahabhagavata. So now we have seen this, now scores. I'm not going to ask you for the result. It's only for your evaluation. So that's why I'm skipping. And it's just for your own understanding. Uh, 18.41, four kinds of ashramas based on the modes of material nature. Let's continue reading. So we'll follow the same pattern. If anybody feels tired and wants to swap with someone, yes, you can go. But if someone wants to read, can raise your hand and swap with someone. So right now we'll start in the usual pattern. 18.42, yes, Hare Krishna. Oh, I have to start. Samo damas tapas saucham. Shanti Rajala Mevacha, Jnanam Vijnanam Ashtikshyam, Brahma Karma Swabhavajam. Hare Krishna. Peacefulness, self-control, austerity, purity, tolerance, honest, wisdom, knowledge and religiousness. These are the qualities by which the Brahmins work. Okay, so peacefulness, self-tolerance, austerity, purity, tolerance, honesty, wisdom, knowledge, religiousness. They are all, all the qualities in which the Brahmanas will work, right? The Brahmins will work in this austerity. And, uh, you know, uh, this, this is the qualities, right? This is important. Now, this is something based on ashram, right? Because for Brahmin, a purity is important. He has to tolerate. Now, the same rule will not apply to a Kshatriya. Kshatriya will have different qualities. So, let's see that. Hare Krishna, 18.43. Sauryam tejo drite dakshyam yude chapi apalayanam dhanam ishvara bhavascha Shatram karma swabhavajam. Heroism, power, determination, resourcefulness, courage, in battle, generosity, and leadership are the qualities of work for the Kshatriyas. Uh, so, you know, right? Hero worship Kshatriya. Heroism, power, determination, resourceful, courage, battle, generosity, and leadership are the qualities of Shatira. 18.44. Shrishi go raksya va nityam vaisha karma swabhavagam paricharyatma kam karma sudrasya pi swabhavajam. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Farming, cattle raising, and business are the qualities of works for the web. Vaishyas and for the sutras, there is a labor and serves to others. Hare Krishna. <laughs> so, uh, very clearly, uh, so what is happening is um, farming, cattle raising, and business are the qualities of the work of Vaishyas. And uh, sutras, what do they do? So the Vaishya takes care of the cattle farming, raising, and business and all this. For Sudra, what they do is labor and service to others. So this is classic example of the Sudra. Why? If they serve the three, then that's the best thing which they have to do. 18.46. Yata pravritir bhutana yena sarvam idam tamam svakarmanatam abhyarchya siddhimindeya te manava Hare Krishna. By worship of the Lord, who is the source of all living beings and who is all pervading, man can, in the performance of his own duty, attain perfection. By worship of the Lord, who is the source of all beings, who is all pervading, man can, in the performance of his own duty, attain perfection. 
right so he's telling by worshiping the lord who is the source of everything right in the performance of his own duty he'll be able to reach perfection so he's saying this so if you do your own duty you can reach the perfection so this is what it is so 18.47 shreyan swadharmo viguna paradharma swanushtita स्वभावानियतम कर्मा गुरवन्नापनोति किल्बिशम हरे कृष्णा इट इज बेटर टू एंगेज इन वंस ओन ऑक्युपेशन इवन दो वन मे परफॉर्म इट इंपरफेक्टली देन टू एक्सेप्ट अनदरस ऑक्युपेशन एंड परफॉर्म इट परफेक्टली प्रिस्क्राइब ड्यूटीज अकॉर्डिंग टू वंस नेचर आर नेवर अफेक्टेड बाय सिंपल रिएक्शन so uh, it is better to engage in one's own occupation even though one may perform uh, in it imperfectly right so even though one is performing imperfectly it is totally fine uh, to do uh, their own job example a monkey elephant all of them are jumping on the uh, tree right so therefore you don't have to jump up on the tree uh, you know to catch something right it's very uneven so you do your own duty example that's why arjuna ji told okay go to the forest but don't go and sit in the forest because if you see somebody trying uh, in, being insulted you know immediately he will take a sword and he will fight even if he doesn't have a sword he will take a leaf and fight right so it won't suit him so do your own dharma right that is very important you follow uh, it's not just by birth it's also by your nature right for example um, we come across many people who even in an organization will be very calm and composed another person and they will not mind out anybody shouting at anyone they will just not bother not in terms of bother they will be feeling very hurt deep inside they will be broken but they won't be able to react right they won't know how to help them they'll be very hurt right so that's more of a brahmana quality whereas you'll see someone you know among friends also they'll be like i'm there for you right i'm i will take it i will take one hit for you they are in the mood of a shatri so if you swap them and you ask them to keep quiet also what will happen they will be quite quiet and one day they will burst out so it's best they react and take it on that spirit 18.49 <laughs> one can obtain the results of the yantination simply by self control and by becoming unattached unat- unat- to the material things and disregarding material enjoyments that is the highest perfectional stage of renunciation one can uh, obtain the results of renunciation how can he do by uh, self control and being unattached to the material things and disregarding material enjoyments right <laughs> so what we are trying to tell is this is the highest perfection stage of renunciation so what we are all we are telling is uh, simply by self control right and being um, becoming unattached to uh, material things and disregarding material enjoyments these are highest perfection stage of renunciation so what is it mean right all this you know we if somebody is going to that stage is very difficult for us but at least we'll try slowly and that is the highest stage so we will now move to 18.54 brahma bhuta prasanatma ta sochati na kamshasi samas sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labate param hare krishna one who is thus transcendently situated at once realizes the supreme brahman he never laments nor desires to have anything he is equally disposed to every living entity <coughs> in the state that he attains pure devotional service on to me um thus one who is transcendently situated right he is in a brahman platform he never laments nor he desires to have anything he is equally disposed in everything and he attains pure devotional service right uh, so um, what is he telling he talking about uh, you know that nobody laments or desires anything beyond what is required so brahman platform is something where he sees everyone equally we said right so he doesn't have anything everyone is equal for him good or bad doesn't matter so we will not be like that if someone hurt us we feel so hurt right and that is why uh, whether you are in material life or in spiritual life and more so when you start coming to spiritual life you should start telling sorry and i want to leave this note for teenagers because most of the time we feel a uh, sorry is a word which we feel is very insulting right but the point is and even in shastras it says that the moment you say sorry it's like you go back to the same person and uh, you you know whatever you try and fix the problem now if that person does not accept your sorry that's his problem or his her problem but if the moment you say sorry the karma of the mistake it's transferred right so that karma you can get rid of but most of the time we are confused because we are in the mode of ignorance and passion should i tell sorry or should that person tell sorry that is a bigger issue so whenever you have a doubt refer to shastras 
हरे कृष्णा एटीन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव भक्तिया माम अभी जानती यात्व तथो माम तत्व तो ज्ञावा विशते तद अनंतर हरे कृष्णा one can understand the supreme personality as he is only by devotional service and when one is in full consciousness of the supreme lord by such devotion he can enter into the kingdom of god hari krishna one can understand the supreme person right so what are we saying one is full conscious of supreme lord by such devotion he can enter the kingdom of god so can you see this sarupya that means everybody is having the same rupa so whenever you are going there you have five liberations right sarupya which means you will have the same rupa of god or you will have saloka you enter the same loka or sh- uh, or um, sashti sashti means you become the you get all the opulence right rich father how the son will be with all his mercedes benz like that and uh, samipya you are being the uh, you know typically an associate like arjuna always with krishna so these are the four and the last one we don't consider is sayujya merging with the uh, with the brahmajyoti we don't believe in merging we want our identity we want krishna's identity so that we can continue our relationship right so that is what he is talking about so they will end 18.56 sarva karmani api sada kurvano madhya pashraya mat prasada tavapnoti shashvatam padam avyayam hare krishna so engage in all kinds of activities my devotee under my protection which is the editor eternal and imperishable abound by my grace uh, so uh, though engaged in uh, all kinds of activities right my devotee my protection which is the eternal and imperishable abound uh, by my grace uh, so he says that you know my devotee uh, in my protection you know which is the eternal and imperishable abode by grace so uh, very clearly what happens is uh, my devotee and my in my protection right reaches eternal imperishable abode so he will always reach the uh, imperishable abode that means what you will reach krishna support which is eternal and you will automatically be very happy this is repeating so this will come twice almost not word to word but almost this will come in 9.34 also that's the last verse of my chapter so it's repeating again uh, हरे कृष्ण मित्त सर्व दुर्गा मत्र अथ चहंकार नाशोसी विनश्यसी सॉरी I mean this one, not that one. I mean Manmana Baba, which is there in nine point three four. We'll come to this later, but let's go to this shloka. Yeah, you can read the meaning. If you become conscious of me, you will pass over all obstacles of conditional life by my grace. If, however, you do not work in such consciousness, but act through false ego, not hearing me, you will be lost. Okay, if you become conscious of me, you will pass over the obstacle. So, if you are conscious of me, right, you will pass over the obstacle, and you would you do not work in such a conscious, right, but act through false ego. not hearing me you will be totally lost uh, so what we are telling that you will pass over the obstacle of conditioned life uh, so what we will do is uh, uh, you know not hearing automatically you will be lost so you will pass through the obstacle so whatever you are doing you are becoming conscious of me uh, you know if such a situation comes that you will work in uh, you will not work in under my consciousness right the false ego will be there and therefore you will totally be lost obviously if you don't listen what happen we don't know direction right that's why we need shastras wherever there is confusion we need shastras that is a problem which we are having not only we are having a problem even our seniors our family members our parents are not reading shastras our uncles our aunts whenever they advise they advise from their mind which is also equally material have you experienced many time whatever they advise we feel is very contradictory not because they are telling us that we also feel what they are telling may not be right yes or no yes mata ji yes right why because sometime they will tell okay so to this morning instantly a friend of mine was talking i am so happy mobile skin so i was asking her why she said i feel so upset when i was 7 years or 8 years my dad and mom used to tell me to pick up the phone and tell tell the other person that i am not there at home right she was a very elderly lady i'm talking about when uh, you know she is definitely not our age group but what she was telling uh, or anybody's age group for that matter but what she was telling is when she was very small right she was like she was very small when in school they teach then why are they doing it? 
you are getting a conflict of mind which happens even still so that's one reason for me to learn shastras because i feel learning shastras will make us not make the same mistake which our previous generation did because they are actually concocting they say that don't do this because they feel it's not right we actually should follow what is supposed to be done for example newton principle for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction yes it's newton law he proves gravity he proves i drop it now newton creates his own thing telling that okay if i throw speaker phone of newton up it will go stuck in it it will not come down then it is foolish right because we are not going to believe we want him to prove it that's why it's not called theory it's called a law law is something which doesn't change likewise when our parents tell we do not have a conviction because of the fact that they do not have a reference point they are speaking from what they call it as experience which may be right i'm not denying it but their experience or their understanding of that could be also entirely wrong right so that is why i request each one of you to learn shastras because tomorrow when you're guiding a friend or a child or your generation you will have a document which you're referring and not speaking from our mind right ishwarah sarva bhutanam videshi arjuna tisthati ramayan sarva bhutani yandra rudani mayaya hari krishna the supreme lord is situated in everyone's heart o arjuna and is directly the wandering of all living entities who are seated as on a mission made of the material energy the supreme lord is situated in everybody's heart and o arjuna is it directing the wanderings of the living entities who are seated in the machine made of the material energy so the supreme lord is situated in everybody's heart right o arjuna it is therefore since it is situated in everybody's heart uh, so made of a particular material energy right so they look at each other so we just like a machine so you see krishna and look at us right so how we are interacting Am eva sharanam gacha sarva bave na varata tat prasadat param santim sthanam prapsya si sashvatam Hare Krishna. Os, O is born of Bartha, surrender unto him utterly. By his grace, you you will attain transcendental peace and the supreme and eternal abode. so oh, uh, shin of bartha right he says surrender to him right but his grace you will attain transcendental peace and the supreme eternal abode so he is telling that uh, you know you will attain transcendental peace and you will reach the supreme abode right you will reach that particular abode and uh, you uh, you know by by this grace you will be able to reach him uh, so is what we are saying so what happens is uh, that you know this particular um, entire thing no this uh, jagannath whole stuff uh, well, is a very huge temple because i've been to jagannath puri um, and uh, what happens is um, that jagannath puri to that entire temple they were cleaning uh, this entire temple they were cleaning uh, entire thing they cleaning who is cleaning pratap rudra he is a king and it's such a big temple trust me i just went one wrong and i was so exhausted i thought i'd never be able to go wrong so tiring so big and he was cleaning one whole day right so what they are saying is such people right automatically need the abode because why they say surrender such a king trying to surrender is very high 18.35 iti te jnana akyatam uyad guyattaram maya mimshidyeta tasheshena yatechasi tata kuru hare krishna thus i have explained to you the most confidential of all knowledge deliberate on this fully and then do what you wish to do i have explained to you the most confidential knowledge right um i have explained the most confidential knowledge uh, and, uh, and and now you should deliberate and then you should do what you want to do so this is what he is uh, talking about right so he is saying that now i have told you look at the choice unlike people sometimes they breathe through thought you must do this sometimes it makes me feel ah, you know it's so difficult but here he is telling krishna is telling i have given you the advice but now your wish you deliberate you think use your brain and act hey krishna very nice no lovely or not hmm i am not had, someone, yeah if anyone advises me they tell i have advised you now follow this right many times my uncle also will give me an advice he will tell i have told you now na please follow i am sure you can do it indirectly forcing only but very posh way of forcing like not telling you must do but telling that i am sure you will do very slight difference on terms but then end of the day you know it's like you just can't be kind but look at krishna 
he is allowing you to take a decision and he is advising right so you should also follow when you advise you don't breathe through somebody's neck 18.65 hari krishna manmana bhava mad bhakto madhyaji mam namaskuru mame vaishyasi satyam de pratijane priyo sime hari krishna always think of me and become my devotee worship me and offer your homage unto me thus you will come to me without fail i promise you this because you are my very dear friend always think of me and become my devotee right so he is telling that you should always think of me and become my devotee and always offer homage to me thus you will come to me and without fail i promise that i will become very dear so he is telling that if you pray homage he will come 18.66 sarva dharmya tari tyaga mam ekam sharanam raja aham pam sarva pape vyo moksha ichami masachu very beautiful shloka so he is telling forget about all varieties this alone i'll read abandon all varieties of religion and surrender on to me i shall deliver you do not fear so krishna is telling you can give up everything and come to me i will deliver so he is giving that guarantee and nobody can give that guarantee hey krishna 18.67 idam te na tapasthaya na bhaktaya kadachana na cha shushu save vachyam na cha mam yo abhyasuyati hari krishna uh mata ji shruti can say this one because the last verse you said na so she can say this one yeah, yeah anybody can say please go ahead this is not the last one we have another 11 more to go <laughs> this confidential knowledge may not be explained to those who are not assured or devoted or engaged in devotional service not to one who is in awareness of me <laughs> so he is very clearly telling this confidential knowledge is something which you um, uh, uh, you know uh, you don't explain right somebody who is not austere or engaged in devotional service or envious you know won't do this right so you don't tell them he's krishna is telling stay away from them don't tell uh, now let's see what he says 18.68 hari krishna ya idam paramam guyam mad bhaktesh vabhidashyati bhaktim mai param dhritva mam evaishyati asamshaya hari krishna for one who explains the supreme secret to the devotees pure devotional service is guaranteed and at the end he will come back to me so he says that for them uh, the supreme secret is to the devotees and devotional service is guaranteed right he says it is guaranteed if someone follows and they will come back to me hari krishna 18.6 na cha tasman manusheshu kaschin me priya kritamah bhavitana cha me stasma aya priya taro bhuvi hari krishna there is no servant in this world more dear to me than he mataji cannot say than he there is no servant in this world more dear to me than he nor will there ever be one more so there is no servant in this world who can be more dear to me than he right so this is like there is no one who can be more dear at all right so uh, what we are telling is there is nobody right very clearly they are talking about nobody in this world so krishna is saying, right not only now even in future there will be no one more dearer than this 1870 hari krishna adyeshyate chaya imam dharmyam sambadam avayo jnana yagnena te naham ishta chami ti me ati hari krishna hari krishna and i declare that he who studies his gate conversation worship me by his intelligence he is saying that i seek conversation by what is study will worship him how because he is intelligent right he is given so much choice by anyone who today all consider to be super intelligent sacrifice by hari krishna And who 
listens with faith and without envy becomes free from sinful reaction and attains to the planets where the pious dwell this is the one who listens with faith and without envy becomes free from sinful reaction and attains to a planet where the pious are dwelling right listens with faith does not have envy and is free from any sinful reaction and uh, attains the planets where the pious are dwelling right so whoever listens with faith does not have envy is free in full reaction and attains to planet where the pious will be dwelling right? so you can tell very clearly how they are uh, so he will go there so confirmation krishna is giving so many times 18.73 arjuna vacha nashto moha smriti labdha ॉर्डिंग the infallible one my illusion is now gone right i have regained my memory i am now firm and free of doubt so i will act according to your instruction so krishna is telling i'm going to act now arjuna is totally surrendering which also means that we should be like that all three you can read at one shot hari krishna sanjaya said thus i have thus have i heard the conversation of two great souls Krishna and Arjuna, and so wonderful is that message that my head is standing on head. Yeah, continue reading. By the mercy of Vyasa, I have heard these most confidential talks directly from the master of all hmm, mysticism, Krishna, who was speaking personally to Arjuna. Poking, has I repeatedly recalled these wonders? and holy dialogue between krishna and arjuna i take pleasure being thrilled at every moment so very clearly he says uh, uh, very clearly you know sanjaya's expression arjuna surrendered now sanjaya is telling that i am so happy my hand is standing out oh i have heard all this talks from the master who speaks all this and i repeatedly recall this dialogue he's like so excited okay i recall and i'm so thrilled is what he is telling 18.76 hari krishna king when i remember the wonderful form of lord krishna i am stuck with even greater wonder and i rejoice again and again so he says when i remember the wonderful form of lord krishna i am stuck with even greater wonder right so he says when i see krishna's form i am stuck with great wonder and i keep rejoicing again and again i keep doing that right so 18.74 hari krishna yatra yogeshwaro krishno yatra parto tanurdara tatr shir vijayo bhute duvani ter mater mama hari krishna wherever there is krishna the master of all mystics and whenever and wherever there is arjuna the supreme archer there will also certainly be opulence victory extraordinary power and morality let is my op- wherever there is krishna right the master of all mystics and wherever there is arjuna right there will certainly be opulence victory extraordinary power and morality right so this is my opinion so krishna is saying that this is my opinion so wherever there is krishna and wherever there is all of them then you know uh, you can see imagine all four will be there what opulence success victory extraordinary power and morals will comfortably be there is what krishna telling hari krishna so with this we will end our this journey of 18 chapter and i want you all to continue your level 2 rupeshya sindhu bhi ai vacha patitanan pavanebhyo vaishnavebhyo namo namaha hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare rama hare rama 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 hare hare krishna all of you hare krishna hare krishna thank you so much do you all have any doubts any realization anything you want to share anything you would like to share anything you want to tell no mata ji but uh, this much we can say that you are a very good teacher very Thank nicely you, so you taught and uh, prabhu ji you were also very great you answered every question that uh, i had on whatsapp so i'm very grateful 
uh, i am sure all of the other devotees here who have joined this journey are also very grateful for both of you thank you Hare thank Gosh. you so much thank you so much it was a pleasure to all and i am always happy to have people not just in the first day but on the last day because that shows you know the mode of goodness and how you can take it forward so krishna has blessed all of you and each one of you thank you so much for this journey and thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to share krishna's words to all of you hari krishna thank you so much mataji thank you so much dear thank you mataji thank, thank you so much hari krishna yeah and looking Hare forward to you looking forward to your continuation in this journey yes that be nice yes and if you have any challenge in registration i think most yeah. of you all just in case you have anything you can always message us we'll keep the chat open for a couple of days so you can uh, write to us in the chat you can message us or call us you know whatever suit right thank you so much and hari krishna so we'll end the meeting yeah. any any other gayatri mata ji or suti mata ji anything you need to or you like to share, share. no mata ji just thank you so much thank you so much hari krishna Hare Krishna. And thank you so much, Mohandas Prabhu, for everything. Again, one second. No, it has been a pleasure, Mataji. It has been wonderful to work with the other group. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. So much. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna